Indian viewers. Now, we have already discussed about the poem, Indian viewers, what is there in the poem. So today we have to discuss about the appreciation and the poetic devices of the poem, Indian viewers. Now pay attention here. Now first and very important thing about the appreciation that we have to discuss here. Some points or the features you can say that I have given here. And the important or why do miss uh, what is the use of appreciation or why appreciation is very essential that I want to talk to you first. So it is nothing but to recognize the poem in a clear way or in a simple way or the good qualities from the poem we can find out by the appreciation. Appreciation upon Changle quality just still whatever good qualities in the poem, those we can recognize very easy and uh, better way. So now let us see here the important points of the poem or appreciations are given here. First point is title, second is about the poem. About the poem is whatever we learn in the poem that in short we have to write here. About the poet, so here in short we have to write the information of the poet, then theme, what is the theme of the poem that we have to write. Poetic devices used in the poem, special features, messages from the poem. Or uh, sometimes uh, message is not given but some significant things are given here or your own opinion also you can uh, write here. And in a special feature you can add your own points also which you got from the poem. Now let us see here. The title, about the title we have to see now, what is here in the title. The title, Indian viewers focuses over Indian artisans, particularly viewers. The title of the poem is self-explanatory. The adjective Indian is used with a, a definite purpose appreciating the work of Indian viewers. The variety of clothes they have to view according to, according to occasions or incidents. For example, uh, happiness may be there or sadness may be there. Incidents are there. Ananda the incident is shakto ki wa dukha za incident asu shakto. All these incidents poet have described here very well in this poem. So the title is self-explanatory. It is about Indian viewers and their work. Now next. About the poem. So what is about the poem that uh, in short I have given here. Indian Weavers is a poem by renowned poet Sarojini Naidu. Through the means of the poem, the poetess highlights the craft and skill of the weavers. Now here all the skill of the weavers or Indian weavers are described here very well in this poem. It is a narrative poem in the form of question and answer. Now I think uh, everyone knows who have attended the last lecture of the poem. Here, in every first two lines, there is a question. Pahila don oli madhe stanja cha, apne la kai diste, question diste. In second, in next two lines, we find the reply of the viewers. Pahila don oli madhe, poet ne question which alele diste apne la. And in second two lines, the reply given by the viewers is given here. That's why it is a narrative poem in the form of question answer. The language of the poem is simple and easy to understand. The metaphorical use of language enriches the content. It also depicts tradition and culture of India. So mostly, she has given her imports to the culture and tradition of India or traditional occupation of India. Now next. The use of images and different colors unveil the different stages of human life. What are the different stages of human life? Those are described as the colors. So different Colors are also used by the poetess here, like uh, uh, for birthday, different color is there. For a marriage, uh, well, uh, she has used her different color. And for a dead person or a, a person, or, or a, we can say dead body of the person is wrapped by, uh, by a cloth. And that cloth, for that cloth also, they have, she has used here different color. Now next about the poet. Sarojini Naidu is rightly called as the nightingale of India because the rhythmical language is used by the poetess here in this poem. That is why we can call 
her as a nightingale of india her poetry is marked with the true soul of india she is known for the clarity of thoughts why we call her as a she means she is known for the clarity of thought because very clear information is described by the poetess here in this poem that we find she has used very simple and easy language in the poem so every word used in the poem it is a very simple and only common man can also understand the meaning of the word that's why it is very important to get the meaning and so the poetess has used here color that or we can say the language that is very simple now next here theme of the poem now i think in the last line we see about the poet but here short information about the poet you have to write my friends otherwise you will write a, a set of answer but that is not allowed here only important information that you have to write here only theme the poet speaks about three important stages of human life and relate them with the different colors and different parts of the birth or part of the birth is the first step for a newborn baby we were see in the morning means at the early in the morning they were weaving but they were making a cloth or the garment for a newborn baby in the morning symbol of happiness morning is the symbol of happiness for the marriage green and purple veil is woven in the evening sandhya kal che vel te lagna chi ji chunri aste ti te vinkam kartat color is used green and purple and at last the white shroud for a date is one at the night ani ratri che veli miss here i think morning i told you that morning is a symbol of happiness in the same way night is the symbol of problems difficult things or we can say sadness is there so cloth which is for a dead person then a cloth vintai that is for a dead person to wrap the dead person that's why here this is the theme of the poem in short we can say that the poem indian viewers highlights the craft and the skill of indian viewers the poetess has very nicely presented three phases of life the life cycle is befittingly depicted from the work of viewers now here the style of the use style used in the poem style means nothing but a language or style of the language is used in the poem ja poem madhe ekada prakarchi ji bhasha ji va bhasha cha jo vapar kelela asto that is called the style of the poem so it is a narrative poem in the form of question and answer about the poem also we get this information now next year the language of the poem is a simple rhythmical and easy to understand so very simple and rhythmical language is used by the poetess here and it is possible to get the meaning it is very easy to possible the meaning mande meaning karna sathi aplyala ekdam easy asel asi bhasha tane vapar kelela rhythm is also there the met metaphorical use of language enriches the content it is also depicts the tradition and culture of india the poem is full of musical words and also full of images like a halcyon plums of feather so halcyon bird miss king fisher has only kill then he plums and the feathers feathers are only kill so various images are used by the poet here in this poem so that is the good thing we can say so the style of the language very simple language rhythmical also and easy to understand so these are the thing you have to keep into our mind about the style of the poem while you are thinking about the appreciation of the poem now next point is special features of the poem now what are the special feature of the poem that we have to discuss here now here yeah, special features rhythm symbolism imagery are the special features of the poem 
the poet has painted the picture of Indian viewers who view tirelessly at the different time of the day, those related with the three stages of human life. Now here they were waving tirelessly, na thakta, they were doing their work. Since morning to late in the evening, Sakala Pasunta late in the evening or in the night also they were weaving. So tirelessly they were weaving in a different time. Now here, and those relate with the three stages of human life from birth to death. Ja Juna cha three stages hai, the tiga stage chai the description is given by the poet as here, and that's why we can say. This is the special quality or the special feature of this poem. And again, different poetic devices are used, like simile, metaphor, alliteration, repetition, tautology, and so on. These are the poetic devices used in the poem. So here, whenever you talk about the appreciation, some <coughs> sorry, special features are also used here. Now I think. Special feature in the special feature poetic devices devices that is also one of the thing that is very important according to the appreciation and that is in the special features of the poem. Now next, significant or the opinion or the moral or message. Now here in a different poem we can get a different kind of information. Now sometimes significance will be there. Here, opinion may be also there, or sometimes moral will be there, or message, moral or message may be there. Now, here we can say what is the significance of this poem, importance of this poem. Now, let us see here. The poem gives the true picture of Indian tradition and occupation. It's a real picture. Or whatever information is given in this poem, that is about the Indian tradition and occupation. Bharati Vyavsas, Jo Paramparik Vyavsas, Techabadal, Ek Sangal Manje, description it Kilila Hekawaitri, or she has added very well here. We get the clear understanding of the real sense of India. Bharata is a clear, clear thing, Jo, clear sense of the India that we can get here. I like this poem very much, especially for its pictorial quality. We should give importance to Indian tradition and occupation. Now here, uh, according to me, or uh, according to me, by this poem, I got an information. Or it, it is my opinion that we should give importance to Indian tradition and occupation. Bharatiya parampara ni vyavsay tana apan maan dila paise, or important dila paise, mahato dila paise, asamala vartta. That is my own opinion. And here, poet has used pictorial quality. Pictorial quality means many pictures are used here by the poet. So the pictorial quality is also there in the poem. So it is one of the significant thing in the poem. Now next, about the poetic devices we have to discuss here. There are many poetic devices. Now here, the poetic devices we have to discuss and the poetic devices which belong to this poem only, those we will discuss today. And if you want more information about the poetic devices, uh, I think uh, before two or three days, I have given you a video or a link of YouTube on that all kind of poetic devices I have uploaded myself. So that video you can see and you, you can get a detailed information about all poetic devices. But here today we have to discuss about the poetic devices which are used in this poem Indian viewers. Now what are the poetic devices that first I want to tell you in uh, short. So the, this means uh, as we use some jewelries or ornament to beautify ourselves in the same way poet or poetess used poetic devices in their language telkam powder asel apan swata cha chehra sundar disna sathi vaparto to tyaj prakare kavi jo kavi asel kiwa lekhak astil te aple likhan sundar karnyasathi beautiful karnyasathi kiwa tala jasta mahatva yava tyasathi te manje poetic devices cha vapar karat astat karan alankar he marathi madhe apan tyana kay manto alankar ani english madhe poetic devices or figure so speech, kiwa figure so speech upon Manadasto. Now, we are first poetic device which is used in the poem that we have to discuss here. It is very easy alliteration. Now, we are in this poetic device. Initial letter of the words are repeated. 
initial letters are repeated in this sentence we see we were swimming at a break of a day now here w is repeated here the sound w is repeated it is called as the letter or sound in the language of english english bhasha madhe yala letter manu shakto apan or in the language of phonetic language or spoken language madhe tela apan sound sudha bolot asto so the initial letter is used twice here in the sentence that's why the sound that's why it is alliteration the answer i given here the sound w is repeated for a musical effect in the poem poem madhe changla ek mahatva yayla pahije musical effect yayla pahije tya sathi tanni ita repetition aplo jo letter repeat vaparlela ahe and that's why it is alliteration poetic device second example we were swimming so and still now here two letters are repeated w is also repeated and s is also repeated that's why it is the poetic device alliteration we can say the sound or a letter s is repeated for musical effect and w is also repeated that's why we can say it is alliteration now here repetition now one thing you have to keep into your mind in the alliteration initial letters are repeated that is we can say alliteration and repetition means what the word is repeated in the sentence the word is repeated in the sentence that is we can say repetition or that we call as a repetition now we are see the example white as a feather and white as a cloud answer the word or phrase is repeated in the given line so it is repetition so it is very important thing about now we in short i want to tell you one thing about repetition means alliteration letters are repeated and repetition words are repeated and refrain that is extra information i want to give you that is available in my video which i have framed and all poetic devices i have covered there there that example you will get but here alliteration letters are repeated repetition words are repeated and refrain in that sentences are repeated in the poem poem madhe sentence var var ase tela refrain manto ani tyacha badal extra maiti if you want to get you can see my video in the youtube i have share you a link also now next that is interrogation interrogation means when question is used in a sentence or in a poem that is we can say interrogation interrogation poetic device apan konala manat asto wherever questions are used here and we see that i think at the beginning of the lecture i told you in this poem in every two line means initial two lines are there in the stanza in that question is asked and in the next means i think every second line ask question प्रत्येक सेकंड लाइन जी है तथा अपने क्वेश्चन विचार है सो इट इज फॉर अ म्यूजिकल इफेक्ट दैट्स वाई इट इज इंट्रोगेशन एक्साम्पल इज गिवन यू वाई डू यू वी अ गवर्नमेंट सो गे एंसर क्वेश्चन इज यूज फॉर पोएटिक इफेक्ट सो इट इज इंट्रोगेशन ना यू आर टोटोलॉजी सो वॉट यू मीन बाय टोटोलॉजी नाउ हिर we were swimming so and still tautology the words so and still are similar in the meaning used for effect in the poem so similar words are used in a sentence similar words are used in a sentence that is called we can say tautology tar apan kay manat asto tautology poetic devices now we are alliteration is also there but here if this kind of example is asked to you here alliteration is also there and tautology is also there so here whenever this kind of example asked you in the examination you can write both example as a reply dogo example dai je aplyala tautology sudha lihaycha ahe tautology kay te sudha lihaycha an alliteration kay te sudha aplyala lihaycha alliteration ka ahe because w is repeated here s is repeated here that's why alliteration is also there and here apo means a similar meaning is two words are used here that's why also it that's why it is tautology also so this explanation you have to give in the poem means in the question paper while it is asked to you in the examination pariksha madhe vichale gela nantar aplyala je je prakar aste te sagle explanation karun lihaycha ahet now next now simile 
Now, simile is also one of the poetic devices. In the simile, direct comparison between two things. Don Gostin Madla Tuluna Kelly as the was to a still Vakti as still, but here at least one poem. One point must be common. Yachama the contatari, eight point is also the common as a lavaise. Now, here see the example now. Blue as the wing of a Hellishian wild. Blue as the wing of Hellishian wild. I have given explanation here. There is a direct comparison between two different things the color of the garment and the color of the wings of the kingfisher. So, kingfisher is a wings color and a garment is income color. That is a color. That is a comparison. Color means color is same. So, at least one point must be common in them. So, what is the common? Color is common in the garment and the wing of the kingfisher or halcyon bird we can say. The next example, like the plump of a peacock, purple and green. Answer the color of the garment and the plum of peacock. The more a piece of silk or tura silk that's a garment, that's a color that's a with a combination of your compare kelela him. So the color that is one common thing in them, that's why it is seemingly poetic device. Now, metaphor now here, metaphor in a metaphor also comparison there, but here indirect comparison is there between two things or more than. Now here, we were swimming at a break of a day. Miss break of a day, Miss morning. Is indirectly compared with the first phase of human life. So morning or we can say break of a day, that is Miss indirectly compared. Indirectly compared with the childhood, the first phase of life, Jivuna the pilot stage at the CH Tulna Kalelia. That's why it is metaphor. Now, here, the last thing that I we want to talk about the poem that is rhyming scheme. So, what is the rhyming scheme, or how can we identify the rhyming scheme? I think in the union. Uh, last class also we have all discussed about the rhyming scheme. You have to observe the last letters. And you have to read them day gay with the pronunciation of the last words we have to see more here or observe and as per that you can use rhyming scheme. So here now in the first line we were seeing at a break of a day day that is the last word. So you have to, for the first line last word you have to give letter A. Then second line you have to observe if the second and third line last letter last words pronounce same and the pronunciation is same so what is the shabda tancha uchar the sarkas and last la ending la third sarkas letter apply the third day so day and gay both have same pronunciation at the end that's why both have a that pronunciation is here now next here uh, in this line wild child wild and child miss your pronunciation at the end is same. So here, Miss Day and Gay, they have different pronunciation and while and Child, they have different. That's why here A A. When you say like that, which is seven words, which is the word, so that's the utchar sarkao the cell seventy. Third, that's the letter la apan punna dehi se. That's the same. The second is the while and Child D D D la hi thani. That's the another. We were swimming at a fall fall of night. It is the night and bright. Night and bright, similar meaning. Night and bright. Ita sudha kai dilay me na mi thala a a b b. Madhe pratyek stanza jo jara aiming schema hai. For every stanza, pratyek stanza jee aiming schema hai thi a a b b a a b b asich ahe. So here it is very easy to understand, and there must be a question asked to you. On this topic, a rhyming scheme. Now, here, my friends, if you have any query about this lesson, you can ask me, or about the appreciation, you can ask me here.